the Adopting FinOps Working Group has created a framework to help FinOps practitioners accelerate the adoption of FinOps in their own organisations. Our problem was that a poor account structure was limiting our FinOps initiatives and we wanted to bring together finance, engineering and product leads in a collaborative effort to build a new structure and allow engineers the time and space to do the refactoring work by relaxing product schedules. We recognise that we need chief executive support for this uh, and we wanted to go to the CEO with a plan to organise cross-functional workshops and pilot projects to do the work. At the time, we didn't have the framework that the Adopting FinOps Working Group has created. But if we had, we would have pulled out this card, which would have shown us what a chief executive was likely to be interested in, how we could likely get his attention. We would have taken this one to show us whereabouts on the FinOps roadmap we were currently positioned. And this one to show us the specific tactics we might use at our stage of the roadmap to get the chief executive interested and to drive progress forward. With the chief executive in mind, we would have no doubt fixed on his desire to re retain agility, develop innovative products quickly, to get a sound knowledge of what our investment in cloud was buying us, to get a good knowledge of what the cost of goods sold were and product margins, and point out the benefits of FinOps in terms of aligning engineers with the direction of the organization and aligning our investment in cloud in the areas that would represent best value. We would have been able to see from the adopting FinOps templates specific tactics to help us with this discussion, in particular, the drive to make to get easy wins. That's stage one here. Stage two, creating champions to support these initiatives. Stage three, putting a sensible account hierarchy in place as a fundamental. And then that would have allowed us to go back to step one, get some more easy wins, develop our champions, develop a better structure for FinOps and so on. So we showed the chief executive this picture showing how the current account structure had been developed by engineers and product teams for their own purposes as they adopted cloud. And it was as if finance and procurement had been on the other side of a wall, uh, unaware of the structure that had been created, but then having to reconcile the invoices that came back from suppliers and allocate costs to cost centers and budgets. And they were finding that very difficult. When the chief executive heard this, uh, it would be an understatement to say that he was surprised. He was absolutely furious. I remember him saying, I can't believe we're paying these invoices when we don't know what we're spending the money on and we can't allocate them to the right cost centers. It's ridiculous. We were able to show him this picture uh, where the wall could be dismantled and in its place, a FinOps team could act as a facilitator between finance, engineering and product teams, pull them together, initially in a collaborative effort to build a good account hierarchy and also to allow the engineering teams time to refactor applications into this new structure. So we painted a picture where cross-functional workshops would allow us to get the best hierarchy for all the different functions and pilot projects would then build the new hierarchy that would fundamentally change our view of what cloud was costing us and the value we were getting for it. The chief executive was fully supportive. We got his support for the workshops and the pilot projects. Uh, we removed the roadblock that the current account structure was putting in our way. And as a result, we had far better reporting of cloud 
costs and value. We had a far better knowledge of cost of goods sold and product margins. And we were able to say, see for the first time how best to direct our cloud investment for the best return. And of course, we had a happier chief executive. If you'd like to know more about how to use the framework created by the Adopting FinOps Workgroup in your organization, all the details are at the FinOps Foundation website under the project section in Adopting FinOps. Why not take a look?